गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास इलेवन एंड आई वेल आई प्रविशिका प्रधान फॉर्मली वेलकम यू ऑल इन आवर पोलिटिकल साइंस सो दिस क्लास इज जस्ट अ इंट्रोडक्टरी क्लास रिगार्डिंग योर सब्जेक्ट पोलिटिकल साइंस सो यू आर ऑफिशियली वेलकम्ड इन जॉइनिंग डन बॉस्को स्कूल मालबासी so some of the students are very new to this school and some of them are like they are the old student so i like to welcome both the categories so whether uh, without any delay let's focus upon our topic of discussion for today so out here this is like uh, this the rate mark red word political science it's like a larger domain and in it different words are just incorporated in this image like there are the words justice international relation law ideology liberty democracy and so and so forth so these are the words that we will be Uh, getting to know each and every time in this political science subject so let's move into the next slide that is the basic idea of political science what do you mean by political science or an idea let's understand this one political science is a new subject why is it new because in whenever you were in class 10 or from since 6 to class 10 uh, the subject was not there but it can be considered as a social science i'll come i'll come to this one as social science i'll come it because it's related to human beings only okay so you all have more or less an idea about civics when you were studying in class 10 and not just in class 10 since from class 5 onwards or class 6 onwards we have a subject called history history and civics but we in history we talk about different kings different uh, civilization different empires etc but in his in civics we studied about uh, like legislative executive judiciary some functions rajya sabha lok sabha etc so this civics now when you have reached to class 11 class 11 this civics subject has been uh changed towards the title political science this is the main domain now main domain so now in class 11 you have a subject title political science ct subject and in political science the study is going to revolve around on state and government okay so you need to be very clear about this words that political science is a science or a subject which revolves around the main thing that is state and government every aspects every aspects will revolve around state and government because this is the most important part that we will be discussing in every chapters of the political science so let's go to the next slide that is study of policy, political science concentrates upon let's let's be clear what what it concentrates upon it concentrates upon what is state what is government how powers are divided who all are the power holders and how we are supposed to obey rules and regulations laid down by the government so this state has different entity this state has different entity this government has also different entity state when we proceed further like in subsequent chapters we will be discussing solely about the state state there will be four elements like uh, four elements means sovereign sovereignty population territory and government 
so this will we will be coming into the subsequent chapters so government what are the government like what are the organs of the government we will be discussing about legislative executive and judiciary every government has these things legislative executive and judiciary so not just state and government is only there in political science but who are the power how are powers divided the every person has its own powers every position has its own powers and how what particular government has done to divide its power then the power is there but who all are the power holders we need to understand who will be like in a head of the country who will be like nominal head who will be like titular head certain kinds of things so everything is there now the state is also there government is also there the powers are also divided and who the who are all the main powers so the main thing in this political science we need to understand the obey of rules and regulations laid down by the government so every citizen of a country needs to obey abide the rules and regulation laid down by the government so in this pandemic there is it's a pandemic it's a global problem global problem so india as our country has uh, laid down certain rules and regulations of lockdown so every person has to follow um, certain things like wearing of masks using of sanitizer two feet distance uh, like those kind of things so it is a rules and regulations uh, given by the government of india to be followed by the citizen so these are these are certain rules and regulations we human beings are uh, we need to abide the rules and regulations laid down by of our government so now let's uh, go to the next slide that is assumingly just we can assume we talked about like political science is a study of struggle for power we always talked about that it is a that powers are divided so uh, power struggle is in every government power struggle we can find in every government right from a grassroots level to the grassroots level to center power center power as well as state power so how different political parties going to struggle with each other in order to get hold of their powers so um i guess you have heard about a general election 2019 also we like we had a general election and bjp came to the power so like every year like if not every year every 5 years of term there will be election there will be election and we people represent our representative and elect the government so this political science is also a study about how political parties are going to struggle each other in order to get hold of the powers so it is like not just uh, the election that happens every 5 years of town but we should understand that political science is a social science at the beginning of the video i have talked about political science is a study of science social is a social science so what do you mean by social science so uh, let's proceed with the next uh, next slide that is political science as a social science out here we are not only in, we are not only here to study about state and the government but more importantly we are going to study about the relationship between different human beings also so why human beings because uh human beings human beings cannot live in isolation shan and state is a living organism so this is one of the most important definition one of the most important things that we need to understand that if there is only state and there is only government but population is not there 
what happens there will be like there will be no interactions no so political science is the study of relationship between human beings because for human beings only state functions government also functions to make the better standard of living so on and so forth but the thing is that state and government makes rules and regulations for every citizen of the country so now this is also the matter of study that how that rest of the civilization that rest of the citizen is going to react to this rules and regulation laid down by the state and the government so being a state being a citizen of a state we need to abide rules and regulation laid down by the government and to follow it whether you be a foreign national whether you be a indian national each and every government of that particular state have will um, procure certain rules and regulation and we need to follow that so then only we will be like a good citizen of a country so for this one i'll come to the later on because this needs a more elaborative explanations too so now coming to the next slide let's focus upon what we are going to study apart from certain things we are going to study about current issues faced by the government so i can cite an example of current issue uh, like covid-19 covid-19 is a, a brilliant example that we can say that government is facing so much of crisis is there in india let's not talk about the world but let's talk about india the second pandemic has hit india very hard so everything is in a staged manner now we see that uh, vaccination drive is going on vaccination drive is going on but what happens means that this is a india is a very populous country in, in the around the world populous population is very massive and the government is procuring everything to give vaccination to the people but there are underlining measures also that we face and the government is also facing like there are shortages of vaccine there are shortages of different medical facilities there there were shortages of oxygen etc but also these are the things that we need to study about what are the issues faced by the government and we need to we need to solve from each and every corners so now different um, problems faced by the government now the most important i can give you india china tussel in ladakh for territory so even every government face every like every government faces different kinds of problems so the basic like the main example i can cite out is that india china tussle in ladakh every now and then that india and china is going for like eye to eye that this particular territory belongs to me and this particular territory belongs to me they say every now and then china gives their own explanation and india gives their own explanation this is also like a different problems that we face now problem faced by the global community same i can cite for the covid-19 around the globe we are discussing about trends different trends different vaccination that comes and different things that uh, certain uh, like if uh, in sri lanka what happened that uh, vaccination was not there so india gave a vaccinations to uh, sri lankan community so uh, if we will not talk about the problem faced in the global community so who will talk so the political sub, political science subject is the subject that we discusses that that discusses the issues faced by the government issues like problems faced by the government and problems faced by global community too so 
every now and then as i've al already said that the polit the study of political science centered around gov state and government it's it centers around state and government these are the key words that key words that you need to follow while writing in your answers also so coming to the next slide let's go further more deep explanation political science it is an old as well as new discipline because it deals with okay now old and new discipline it's like a uh, it's it's a chain type of type of explanation because um we need to study in political science we need to study the meaning of political science scope of political science scope means limitations how did the state and government came into origin different ideologies which are concentrated around the state and law liberty equality justice and present scenario of government this is regarding to your syllabus so uh, political science is a very diverse subject like it has so many branches but in particularly in your like syllabus in your in class 11 standard we need to just understand the basic things of political science basic things of political science so meaning scope how the state and government come into origin different ideologies that are concentrated around the diff around states uh, like law liberty equality etc and so on and so forth so let's proceed further now with regard to your paper now paper means like uh, in your syllabus also last time i had uh, given you the syllabus so uh, it will be easy for you to understand now part 1 will be 3 uh, hours of this duration that will be like theory paper and it carries 80 marks and part 2 deals with project work com that uh, comprises of 20 marks so total will be like 100 marks so this is like quite interesting and project work will be also like related to your syllabus only now let's uh, go to the other one okay now we only with your syllabus the thing is a section it's again divided into section a and section b section a always de and deals with like political theory and section b studies uh, like deals with the contemporary um, world in like political theory we need to understand meaning nature uh, scope of political science ideologies uh sovereign sovereignty liberty equality justice and uh origin of state origin of state etc now in contemporary world we need to understand about what is ir what is international relations and what is like uh cold war non alignment movement movement so contemporary means just like it is the latest latest inclusion uh may basically this starts from 1947 in uh, 1914 1914 after the world war 1 world war 2 world war one and world war world war 2 because after the world war 2 what happened means the change of uh, the politics was changed very drastically because there were the new there were numbers of numbers of casualties left behind by and uh, uh, world war 1 and world war 2 and the political scenario totally changed because it was like uh, usa became the titular supreme power and the politics totally changed towards like uh, uh, usa dominated the world so these are the things that we need to understand in the political science
so and this is just a basic introductory class about what political science is so uh, till the eighth slide uh, till eighth slide you need to jot it down in your notes copy last from nine to nine and ten slides leave it but till eighth slide you have to make your own notes so yeah uh, complete your work by tomorrow or you you need to send me your work by maximum late by the evening today and i guess you are like welcome uh, i guess you are like very much happy to study because political science subject is like a very beautiful subject if you understand it like in a in a basic form it will mark your foundation of seeing what social science is so uh, till then stay safe and take care